Hi everyone. Uh, uh, my name is Son. Uh, I'm the cloud technical, uh, technical evangelist for IBM. Um, today in my session, uh, I would like to share about uh, IBM Solar. Uh, as it, uh, the moderator had mentioned, Solar has had a lot of features, and I don't think like within like 15, 20 minutes I can cover everything. Uh, in my past experience, uh, I used to work with uh, Lucene. Uh, Apache Lucene, which is an open source search engine. Um, and Apache so, uh, Solar is the next generation of uh, search engine. It built on top of uh, Luc the core of uh, Lucene. Uh, many of you, may know how many of you have heard about uh, Lucene or Apache Solar? So the agenda, I will talk about uh, Apache Solar and its key features. Um, next, we in about indexing and data model in Apache Solar. I will walk through a demo of uh, Solar Web Admin uh, user interface and wrap up with uh, how Apache Solar is used in IBM Watson Retrieve and Rank. Um, nowadays, we talk about a big data landscape. Uh, in 2010, um, the world generated like uh, one gigabyte of uh, data in one year. And, uh, and each year, uh, the speed of data being generated pretty increased uh, extremely fast. Uh, in 2014, uh, there was seven uh, gigabyte of data generated um, with a booming of tech different technologies like uh, big data, uh, social, uh, social um, mobile, uh, internet of things the volume of data become very huge. So, <coughs> um, in the modern uh, web uh, application architecture, um, the, the one of the challenges faced, uh, the software architect have to face is the, have to deal with number of data being increased very huge. And so the, uh, it might consume and generated by a global user base. And, there are more and more devices uh, have to connect it to the backend. Um, so that collectively, there's a, a technology called NoSQL um, to, to solve this. Um, so Solar is a, um, a NoSQL um, technology. Um, in in, in nutshell, it is the uh, Java EE uh, web application. Um, this is the main component of uh, Solar. It, at, the back, at the bottom line, this is the storage uh, containing the index. Um, at higher, it's like uh, it could be a, a J2E container can be JST or JBoss. Um, so at the core, you see that this is the Apache Lucene. Uh, it uh, handles the logic of indexing the document, uh, analyzing the text and build it indexed uh, to be used for the searching. Uh, at the high level, um, there are many different, uh, and the beauty of uh, Solar comparing to Lucene is that it's uh, exposed the functionalities uh, via REST, REST-like ABI. In fact, it's not really co uh, completely uh, strictly adhered to the REST phone uh, principle, because like in REST phone, you use FTP delete to delete document, but in Solar, it use FTP post to delete the document. Um, and it support um, the REST client um, for most of the popular languages like Java, uh, Ruby, Python. Now, let's go a bit, a bit deeper into the architecture uh, of Solar. So here in uh, Solar, you see uh, the, con the concept of uh, Solar is uh, wrapped around the uh, core. So core is collectively is a, a, an index and a configuration file. Um, so Solar is support, uh, the core can be like, uh, you can have multiple core uh, in one uh, server. So it support uh, very well for the scal scalability.
So there are the main benefit of uh, solar. Uh, it's scalable uh, because in solar it distributes the uh, index um, in multiple cores. So you uh, you can run multiple concurrent uh, query. Uh, solar is re is ready to deploy. Uh, it's open source. Uh, you can download, and like within five minutes you can have a search engine running up and running. Um, and uh, solar is extremely fast, uh, so the speed of querying like uh, in a million of seconds. Uh, solar can handle like millions of documents um, um, easily. And it designed around text-centric search engine, uh, so it supports different um, documents like in emails, in web page, or read text uh, format or even twists or blocks. The result will be uh, uh, sorted by relevance, by relevancy. Um, solar is powered behind uh, most of the uh, popular websites in the world like Yapos or Best Buy. Any questions so far? I was wondering, you talked about it handles complex queries. So what are complex what are the capabilities that the search actually support? So what what complex queries can you handle? Um, <coughs> so because uh, solar uh, use uh, Lucene at a core, so you can you can uh, query uh, fuzzy uh, fuzzy queries. Uh, you mean like you can put the um, the, the white hat characters into the search uh, input. So you can, um, you don't have to do an ex exact, exact match. You can do fuzzy search also. Yeah. Uh, in fact, uh, the solar uh, architecture is very extensible. Um, the designer of solar know that um, solar is best to design to uh, comprehend complement in any existing architecture. Um, so let's say if you want to extend the uh, text analysis, you can provide your own custom uh, analysis logic. So this is our way of the uh, index, indexing process. The input is document. Um, it will be uh, given into the, um, the process to update this, to analyze the text. Um, uh, based on the uh, chain of uh, uh, tokenizer, uh, and then it will be uh, stored into the uh, Lucene index. So the the concept of document is like atomic unit of information in solar. It is a container of fields uh, and values that belong to a given entity of your domain model, maybe a car or book. A person. So here, like uh, a book, but you have two different documents because let's say the the, the first document uh, it has it doesn't have a publisher, but second one can have the publisher fields. So very dynamic. You don't have to have a, a standard uh, number field across all the document in one index. Uh, because uh, in a search engine, uh, the, the speed of retrieval is very important. Uh, how it can return the result in like a number of like milliseconds? It, because uh, before the query being done, uh, the index had already been built. Uh, let's say we have like three documents like this. Um, so the, the the analysis process will analyze what are the keywords. Let's say in in these sentences. The birthday, the concert, the delay, so forth is the keyword. We call it terms. So each keyword, uh, there will be a map of that keyword appear in which documents and how many times. So when you like, you search for uh, the keyword like, uh, it knows that it will uh, do the uh, mapping. It find that uh, it appear in document two and three. So 
the few times the top level entities declare in the solar schemas, a few times declare using the uh, few time elements. So the, um, earlier I mentioned about the analyzer. So in analyzer, you can like change in the config file, you can change um, uh, many different uh, analyzer uh, class. Let's say we have the lower case. Or you, let's say in uh, in a query, in a uh, query, like you want to uh, lower lower down lower case all the keywords, or you want to like remove the stop words, like uh, the the common English keywords, uh, stop words. So the stop word will be defined in a separate text file like for stop words dot txt. Um, similarly, for the synonym words, you can define in a separate file like synonym dot txt. So, what the tokenizer tokenizer do is is break uh, a, uh, a sentence into a stream of uh, tokens. For example, let's say the sen the sentence I'm writing a simple text as the input, the white space organizer it will uh, break it down by the by the white space. Uh, if we uh, use the keyword organizer, it don't split anything, so the whole sentence we treat it like a keyword. Uh, there are many more uh, tokenizer in uh, Solar uh, Library. Um, you can check the online document and you can find them. So next, I will demo the Solar Web Admin Interface. So when you go for your uh, Avi Solar, this is the website. You can download the solar. <coughs> you can download the latest release. So after you download it to your computer, so So we use the command uh, pin solve in the folder pin dot solve. Uh, you start you start the solar server. So by default, uh, solar will start uh, two instances um, on the same uh, concurrently run on the same machine. So the default port for solar is the uh, 98, S9883. <coughs> so after you start uh, the server, you can uh, you can run the uh, command <coughs> bin uh, slash post, and you create the collection. So the collection. Uh, you can give any names. For me, I use the name uh, getting started. And I will pass in the documents. I want to do the index. <coughs> so here I have a symbol, example, uh, folder. It's shipped together with the solar library. So here I have like different documents like in different format like CSV or JSON. So the first time I will need to do the indexing. So the speed of indexing is pretty fast. Done. So now you can do the query. So on the left, uh, 
on the left hand side you can select the collection so here there's two collection here you see that um, it creates uh, uh, two concurrent uh, instances running the same server uh, so it can support uh, four tolerance um, in case one uh, instance is down so before you do the query you need to select uh, what collection you want to query so I give the boot so in this uh, interface um, Q parameter is the query you want to do the searching and QT uh, WT is the format of the output you want to uh, to export so I, I skill query so here on the right hand you see these are the results it's like I search for the name of the book is Game of Thrones so it appear <coughs> in fact there's a that's a CSV file containing this uh, uh, document, Game of Thrones. So Solar is uh, so this is CSV file. What this are and these are the columns. You have the ID, the category, the name, the, the author, so so forth. And solar it can generate exactly the same, uh, the same like uh, fields, map according to, to the CSV file. Um, so IBM Watson uh, is uh, uh, like. Um, sort of application of uh, solar. So basically, it's a leverage on solar to um, like generate the information that, and like get the most relevant results. You can see the demo. Let's say I give the input. Uh, I can get any random question about the uh, aerodynamics, and the engine will run. And this is the output about this input. So it, the output will be sorted by the relevancy. Uh, so this sentence, what are the aerodynamics influence interference effects effects on the lift on the body? Um, if we use the machine learning approach, uh, we have these answers. Uh, if we use the standard search, uh, we have different answers. Uh, So with this, uh, I would like to wrap up my presentation about Abhi Solar. Thank Go. you. <laughs> Any questions about solar? So, uh, so when you maintain the, the indexes, like you know, it's going to consume a lot of spaces in your you know, system, right? So how do you manage those spaces? How do you, I mean, is there any strategies for our caving and so, because one of the key things, if you have more indexes and more data, then the search becomes slower for the period. Sure, good questions. Um, I think you need to determine that uh, in the document, what are the few you want to return in the search results. So in the schema file, right, there's a variable called uh, indexed or store. So the store field, if you're able to throw, the information will be uh, stored in, keep it in the index. Yeah. So you know what are the information in document you want to return? Then you store. Otherwise, you don't store it. Then by that, by doing that, you can maintain um, uh, the size of the index, not so exponentially grow. Yeah. It's the way how we have to manage. Yes. In sure. terms of search capabilities. Um, does it 
So what I know of it in uh, uh, in solar, it support the uh, phase it phase it search. I mean from the pull up result, you can like narrow down the the set of uh, uh, set of answers. Um, maybe can I take it offline with you? My experience with Lucene, uh, so in Lucene there's certain rule like the like the frequencies, the frequency of the keywords. Let's say in my in my earlier slide, right? Like, let's say in this document, uh, this keyword, uh, let's say it appear like five times, and in our document, that uh, term appear like three times. So the first document we have a higher relevancy because number of because of the the frequency of the keyword it appear. Can you configure that? Uh, you can. You can configure it in the Lucene config form. Any other questions? If not, we'd like to end the session. Thank you so much, Tom, Thank you. for information.